Hey guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews, and um, I was almost put off from doing a video tonight because I was watching the Cowboys game. That was a little bit heartbreaking. However, this is somewhat of an important video, and this is why you shouldn't shop at GameStop. So, I know I've covered a lot of stuff on GameStop before, and I don't think I've really driven that point home enough because I still have a lot of people that defend them to me. A lot of people. So, one of, one of the big things that I wanted to drive home is that they're not the cheapest. You're going to probably pay more shopping at GameStop. To give you an idea on that, here at Best Buy right now, you can pick up The Last of Us Remastered brand new for $19.99. Or brand new for $17.99 if you have the Gamers Club unlocked. Or you can get it used for $14.99. But at GameStop, you can get it for $19.99 new. No discounts. Or you can get it used for $18.99. That's a whole $4 more expensive on the used one. And I can get my new one as cheap as what I can get it with the rewards card at Best Buy. And here's the real kicker. If you buy that used game, if, if you decide, hey, I'm going to buy the used copy of that, the developer gets no money of that. That's a big part of the reason why I don't support GameStop's used game business is A, they don't respect the games, which we'll get into here in a minute, but B, that developer sees nothing. So a lot of the times people are like, oh man, I can't believe they're releasing so much paid DLC or I can't believe I have to buy this. When you think piracy is hitting them hard, piracy is probably about a fourth of the damage that used game sales do to a developer. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those kind of situations where it's, you're giving GameStop that full amount of money. That's GameStop money. That's not developer money. They see no cut of that. Um, I've had a lot of people say the developer still gets a share of that used game. No, they don't. They see none of it. Not a single penny of that goes to the developer. That's why EA was starting to do that whole, oh, if you buy it used, you have to pay to buy an online pass. Yeah, because they wanted to counter GameStop's use, use game market. If you don't think that that's a huge problem to these developers, the fact that you're paying like a dollar less. A dollar less. They see none of it then. I'm sure they probably see at least 15 of that, at very least, of the new game sale. Uh, but let's let's do another one. Let's Let's pull up another one. Let's pull up... Mm, what's a good one here? Let's do Gears of War 4. So we're searching at Best Buy. These, these are live. I didn't pre-think of these. So $39.99 at Best Buy. If you have Gamers Club unlocked, though, that would go down to, like, $35.99. Let's go over to GameStop here whose website doesn't want to load because they're GameStop. Mm. Sorry guys, we're experiencing some technical difficulties. <clears throat> well, point of the matter was GameStop's probably going to have that at a higher price. Thankfully, it looks like Internet Explorer froze on me. Okay, here we go. We're going to reload this. So $35.99 if you had Gamers Club Unlocked. Keep in mind, Gamers Club Unlocked costs the same amount as the GameStop Power Up Rewards card. You just get two years of it. You're paying two years up front. So you're paying $30 two years. You're paying $15 a year for the Power Up Rewards card. So Gears of War 4 at GameStop. Let's see what we get. So $39.99 use or new. So you can get it for new for the same price. Or you can get it used for $37.99. Huh. Weird that I'd be paying less with my Best Buy Gamers Club Unlocked card and the developers still getting money. Now, I'm not saying that all used games are terrible, because I get it. There's a lot of games that you can't go out and buy used. I can't go, f or buy new, I mean. I can't go out and find a brand new unopened copy of Soul Silver with the Poke Walker. And even if I do, the developer's still getting no cut of that because that means some collector bought it all up or some reseller, and they're going to sell it for like $500. 
So I'm not saying games that are out of print or games that are really hard to find. Yeah, I understand. Used is really the only market. But a lot of the times, all you're doing is driving a dagger further into the gaming industry's heart and causing more DLC by the way that they're doing all this. Um, I mean, used games really hurt the gaming industry. Uh, GameStop is, when you're an employee, they'll release all this information going, well... 70% of the game trades go directly over to new game purchases. I don't know if it was 70%. It was a really high number. Uh, I, I don't remember what it was. But yes, they do because they offer bonuses. But here's the other thing too. And a lot of people are like, oh, well, pre-orders don't hurt anyone. You're right. So a lot of companies don't push pre-orders. It's not a huge deal. Best Buy, I can't remember the last time I've been haggled for a pre-order in. Walmart, never been haggled for a pre-order in. Granted, I rarely go into a Walmart. Target doesn't pitch me pre-orders. GameStop will. You know why? Because they get a bonus. Yeah, they get a bonus if they sell enough of them from the developer. For pre-sale. So it's a love-hate relationship with most developers in GameStop. Like a serious love-hate relationship. That's a big part of the reason why a lot of people want it to go to digital download only. And don't get me wrong, if it goes to digital download only, GameStop will probably go away. Um, I mean, most of their profit comes from used games. I get it, there's not a lot of game, or, you know, a lot of profit to be made off of a new game. You're not making an insane amount of money off of it. You're not making any money off of selling systems. You maybe make like five, ten bucks. You probably don't make much more on a game either. Maybe five, ten bucks. So, but, you know, it, it comes down to where's the moral ground to kind of stand on. Um, the developer made that game. They deserve a profit of that game. That's part of the reason why if it's a newer game or if it's a game I can easily find new and it's not some ginormous price difference, which most of them aren't because GameStop just is that way. They like money. They like your money. It's not power to the player. It's power to the dollar. Um, so it it sucks to say it, but eventually it's going to go all digital download, whether we want it to go that way or not. And a lot of it is what GameStop does. It sucks, but that's just the way it works. Now, I had stated that they don't respect games. What I mean by that is when I was working there, um, and I know a lot of you are game collectors, or a lot of you really respect games, but we were told to throw out every DS game case. Every single one. It didn't matter if it was 999, it didn't matter if it was Phantom Hourglass, pitch. We were told to pitch Soul Silver's case, we were told to pitch Heart Gold's case. Now, with me being the person that I am, and with my manager being the person that he was and okay with me doing this, I had a drawer full of DS games that I felt I would just be crushed if I pitched the case on. So Phantom Hourglass, yeah, I wasn't going to pitch the case on. Um, Soul Silver, there were several I had in there with Poke Walkers. We didn't charge extra for it. I mean, GameStop's already charging $50. Well, they were charging $50 for you to get a copy of Pokemon Soul Silver. It didn't even cost that new. I don't agree with them as a retailer being able to sell it higher than what the original retail price is. I think that's shady. Um, I, I get where you want to make a buck, but... You're already making a lot off that game. Especially when the trade value at one point for Soul Silver was $15 at its highest. You can get it. You can get $15 out of that. We're going to turn around and sell it for $50. Yeah. Way to go, GameStop. That looks really good on you. So, if you think that that's only happening with DS games, if you don't think that when they, they're doing these legacy console sales now, so... If they get in an N64 game with the box, that's getting pitched. Oh, that's getting pitched in a heartbeat. There's no respect for the game and what it means to the actual collectors or the gamers. They don't care about that. It has nothing to do with that for them. It's all bottom dollar for them. And unfortunately, those boxes take up space. That's just more effort for them.
yeah, yeah, it's pretty messed up. Um, I don't agree. And so, you know, a lot of times they'd be like, oh, even if it doesn't have a case, we give you the same trade value. No, no, if it doesn't have a case, that's less valued to that person. I don't, I don't want a game without a case. I will not take a generic case game. With a cartridge game, sure, I get it. I'm probably not going to get the box. Most people don't collect the boxes with cartridge games. But a lot of people do. A lot of them do. And to them, that's... I mean, that's pretty disrespectful, the way that they treat it. Um, I mean, it. I've never heard of anything more painful than pitch every 3D case. Or uh, DS case. 999 I couldn't do. Oh man, The World Ends With You, that was another one. Uh, I mean, they were just... There was so much disrespect for the games that they're making their profit on that it was ridiculous to me. Like, they don't they don't respect the gamer. They don't respect the industry. All they care about is the dollar. None of, none of the senior management plays games. There's not a single manager there, district manager-wise, that I've ever met that plays games. And I've met four district managers. I've met two regional managers, and I've met a regional vice president, and I've met a LP president. LP presidents are stupid. Yeah. So one one Christmas, they told us to line up all of the used consoles to create the line sanctions for the line. I lost more consoles that Christmas than any other Christmas. But back to what we are talking about. So the other thing, too, that's very disrespectful to a gamer, and I've talked about this in a previous video, so some of you probably already know this. Employees are allowed to take new games home that are gutted so if it's a new game and it's not going to probably sell out there's a good chance an employee's taking that home at some point if we had a lot of copies yeah don't get me wrong my store didn't do that my store we had it set so it was used games only almost every other store was you know used only or new only i mean or you take out home new and used uh when w came into my store that's when all of a sudden a lot of associates were taking home new games because he was okay with it. That's Again, that's disrespectful to your customer to sit here and say, no, this is a new game. No one's ever played it except for possibly 10 of the associates. Really? Are you kidding me? So those are the big reasons why I don't shop at GameStop. They're more expensive. They're screwing over the gaming industry as a whole on multiple things. They disrespect the games, and they disrespect you. That, and going into a GameStop anymore almost feels like when they try to upsell you at a fast food restaurant. Yeah, um, did, did, did you want to get the large number, number, uh, Dark Souls 3? Yeah? Did you want to get, did you want to upgrade that with a GPG on it? No? No? Did you want to, did you want to go ahead and add a pre-order? Like, that's, that's your way of upselling? That's how you're going to talk to me about games? I don't I don't feel like I'm relating. Don't get me wrong, I get not every GameStop associate does that. I'm just saying that's the way that the company essentially kind of wants them to do it. it. Sucks. Maybe some gaming retailer will come along eventually and put GameStop in their place. I doubt it, considering GameStop bought all the rest of them. So most mom and pop stores, GameStop just bought right on up. Like EB Games. Uh, EB Games actually technically could have bought GameStop. It was really close between the two. Uh, just GameStop had more money readily available. That was called a merger. We can see who is the real equal part of that merger. Um, obviously, EB still exists over in like Canada and the UK and Australia. Um, but it is it is really sad because they'll still buy up a lot of mom and pop game shops. That's still pretty common. They bought a lot of them in Europe a few years ago. They just went snatching a whole bunch of them up just to essentially kill off their competition. But And I get it. To that same extent, you can argue, yeah, Best Buy is their competition. Target's their competition. They have a lot of competition. Um, obviously, you can't go into Best Buy and pick up a copy of Pokemon Soul Silver. But when it comes to the newer games, you can go in there and you can pick up most of them cheaper than what GameStop will sell them to you used for, and you'll get more reward points through Best Buy, earning you stuff faster than what GameStop will. The only stuff I typically buy at GameStop anymore is if I have trade-ins, then I'm probably going to buy digital download cards or collectibles. 
I don't really buy games there. Their prices just aren't good. Um, the only game I bought there this entire Black Friday season was Killzone. And that's because no one else still carried Killzone. So I bought a used copy because no one had a new copy of it anymore. So it's it's the unfortunate side effect of you know how the industry is going. But guys, uh, me and my wife also started a family vlogging channel. It will be linked on the card and the end screen here at the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up. I'm trying to break this uh, lovely subscriber glitch I have. So let me know you enjoyed the video. Drop a thumbs up if. That goes really well, I'll be really excited. Please make me excited. Um, also, BPGR t-shirts are still available for sale. Four day, or Three days left on the gray one, so hurry up and purchase yours. Um, they will be getting fulfilled shortly after the campaign ends. Uh, the red one, I believe, is still going for an extra six days after this one ends, so nine days. Not 100% sure. I don't, I don't remember the days well. Dates and me don't get along. Um, also, I will be starting to do Let's Plays. My first Let's Play is going to be on The Last of Us. So um, I get asked a lot to do them. Uh, I figured, why not? I've never played The Last of Us. Uh, I was going to play it anyways. And so I'll just record my reactions and commentary. It'll be a blast, guys. Just a real hoedown. But, um... If you have any questions, drop them in the comment box down below. I'll, I'll probably answer them. Most likely I'm going to answer them. As long as you don't say anything hateful. Um, and outside of that, yeah, I'll have a new video up for you tomorrow. I'm going to try to go to daily content. Just daily uploads. I will try to make sure all of them are well worth it for you and well worth it for me. And I'm not wasting your time. But, guys, we'll see you soon. And uh, stay warm. It's really cold here in Ohio. I hope you're warm. Bye.